All right, so I told you guys uh, I'd show you another method to cook this these ribeye steaks. We're gonna do a butter basted steak tonight. Um, so we have the ribeye that we cut up. We have the butter. We're gonna use some fresh rosemary and fresh thyme from our garden. We're gonna use one clove of garlic. I already have one piece peeled there. Some hot pepper flake, pepper, salt, uh, a little olive oil just to coat the steak. And then for tools, we have a pan here hot already. I have my eight inch French knife, pair of tongs, and a little spoon here for basting. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the, the steak and a little bit on the plate there with oil to get it all coated with oil. This just helps with it, it's the beginning sear. Those tongues are useless. Okay, so we're getting it nice and coated. And then next we're gonna make sure to season it up. Well, this is a thick steak. We use all the kosher salt. And a bunch of pepper. And then we're going to go on the... We're going to have the salt and peppered side down to the... Down right to the pan. This is a non-stick pan. And there's enough oil and fat on the steak that we don't have to put anything in the pan. And again, we got that good sizzle. Tells the pan's hot enough. We're gonna get the other side with salt and pepper. And then, then once we flip the steak, then we'll get into the butter basting and the, uh, and the flavorings. Okay. All right, so it's been maybe three minutes. So we look at the side and see if we have a good caramelization. Oh my God, that is perfect. It looks better in real life than in the camera. So we're gonna let that go for a second. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a healthy knob of butter, put that in. I'm gonna take this big clove of garlic. I'm just gonna give it a smash with the side of my knife. That's it, that's just to get all the juices flowing. And we'll let that go for we'll let that go for a minute with the other side get a little brown and then we'll check back in in about two minutes. Alright, so the other side's getting browner. All the butter's melted. This um this garlic here is nice and brown. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a nice pinch of pepper flake because we like it spicy. Then we're gonna take these herbs just like this and dump it right in the hot butter. You can hear the the moisture popping out of it and then you come in close here and now this is the butter basting part i'm going to tilt here back up just a hair i'm going to tilt the pan down towards me now all the oil all the all the melted butter is down here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to scoop and baste it and this is how we're going to finish cooking it so now it's oil full of rosemary full of garlic it's not oil, I'm sorry. It's melted butter full of rosemary, garlic, yep. thyme, hot pepper flakes, black pepper. This is all basting the steak. And that's it. We're let that go just for another, I'm going to keep doing this maybe 30 seconds, then we're going to take it off the heat and put it on the uh, cutting board to rest, like we spoke about. All right, so we finished cooking the one side and I've, it's been resting now about five minutes. I did my little poke test, it feels, you know, in here feels really good, medium rare. Now we're gonna, we're gonna slice it up, plate it, garnish it, and taste it. So I always like to cut in a bias at an angle, instead of straight down. At an angle, it makes everything look just a little fancier. 
Oh yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna get a few nice slices out of this. I'm going to try to try to plate it up, make it look a little bit fancy. We'll fan it out so we can see how well we cooked our meat and we got a good crust. All right, cool. And it's always good to kind of give your plate a little wipe, get off any of the drippies. But I don't want to waste these herbs here that are crispy. And this chunk of garlic. And we can use a little bit of this butter. Melted butter is like our sauce. I'm sorry, but there's nothing better than this. <clears throat> All right, so butter basted steak with rosemary, thyme. Oh, you know what else I like doing? Finishing it with a little salt. I know I told you guys that about finishing salt. Down here, this is kosher salt. If you look down here, All right? It's thicker than, it's bigger than the salt you use in the salt and pepper shaker. You can feel it in your fingers. This here is finishing salt. You can see the actual crystals focus, of the salt. And this is good on the steak. Just a nice extra like little, little bit of salt on there. And now, you're gonna taste it. <clears throat> 